during this month, it was kind of a goal uh, to pull some new charts out of the book. New, new, you know what I mean. They're old charts, very old charts. And, and uh, you know, when Glenn led this band, he did a good bit of arranging, especially the early portion of the band's uh, existence, 38 into 39. But uh, there were a lot of wonderful arrangers. There was uh, Jerry Gray, who I've mentioned several times, Bill Finnegan, who did the, that wonderful arrangement of Little Brown Jug. There was a guy by the name of Biddy Carter, who did the arrangement of Bluebirds in the Moonlight. George Williams came on board in 1942. Uh, let's see here, there are several others. Billy May, one of Glenn Miller's trumpet players. And uh, Glenn uh, and his arrangers wrote about 700 charts for the orchestra from 1938 until he broke up the band in 1942. It's a lot of music. It's a lot of music. And we'd like to do one uh, that the band hasn't done probably since 1939. Uh, this one was uh, not recorded. I don't know what I said. Uh, there's a, uh, this one was not recorded in uh, 39, but it was played by the band for a radio broadcast. I think maybe from the Glen Island Casino. There might only be two recordings of this particular uh, song that have been preserved from uh, uh, those air checks. And uh, this one by request from 1939, here's Bill Finnegan's arrangement of the song of the Bible. <laughs> 